Yo, what is going on Comfy Gang? It's your boy Comfy Need. And for today's video, I wanted to address a fairly big elephant in the room. And that is the fact that I haven't been on Discord a whole lot lately. And I've been progressively getting on Discord less and less. And I'm sure some of you are probably wondering why I am acting this way or behaving this way. And I'm not even sure if this video needs to be even made because maybe I'm just overthinking things and maybe you guys probably already understand where I'm coming from. But I did, I did talk to somebody and they suggested that maybe it's better that I just clarify things so that, you know, and I think about it myself, I realized that this is probably a good idea because, you know, maybe it might cause a lot of understandings because I guess people aren't mind readers. And when I put myself in other people's shoes, I can definitely see how, let's say, because I know, I guess we all consider each other friends. And if someone that I talk to frequently all of a sudden started not talking to me or my friends as much, I would probably start to think that maybe this person uh, didn't like st didn't like me for some reason or was maybe mad at me or was maybe just bored of me and my friends or was like moving on or you know whatever the reason being I could definitely see myself thinking that way thinking these thoughts and the purpose of me making this video is to basically just uh, you know get get rid of the idea that you know I'm I'm doing this because I don't like the people on Discord or that I'm tired of talking to people on Discord or that I'm tired of Discord in general. And that's actually not the case. And it's actually entirely the opposite. I I definitely have a lot of fun talking on Discord, you know, shit posting and posting memes and, you know, the gifts, the emojis are great. Um, you know, can't can't get enough of those, the, the emojis, the reactions, and you know, it's just for the most part it is a good time and I've had a lot of fun on Discord. As some of you as some of the OGs on the server probably know, I used to spend a lot of time on Discord pretty much every day in fact, and I would be on for multiple hours talking with people. So it's definitely not the case that I hate Discord or anything, but I think the problem is, is that I like Discord too much and given, given the chance and given the way my addictive personality works, I could easily spend, you know, several hours a day on Discord just talking to people like I used to. And honestly, if I were, you know, if, if, if this was much earlier in time, if I were much younger and I, you know, or I didn't have, you know, I guess if I didn't want the things out of life that I want, I, that I currently want, then that honestly would be fine. And I probably would be doing that, but, you know, and I'm not saying that, you know, what I'm pursuing right now is somehow better than than what other people choose to do. Um, that's not the message that I'm trying to get across at all, because I think it's just more that it's what I personally want out of life or at least want to find out about life. And I guess that is the fact that, you know, the things that I want to achieve, like, you know, becoming good at an instrument or, you know, fighting at least in one amateur fight and, you know, finding a way to make money off off my music as a, you know, producer or a, even a recording engineer. Um, all of these things, um, you know, they take up a lot of time in order to gain the the level of competency necessary to even just compete professionally in these fields because sure there's a lot of hobbyists out there some of which make you know decent music sometimes but when you when you're talking about you know making a living 
off of something like music. And in terms of the fighting stuff, even just competing in an amateur fight, you have to put in a lot of time in order to be, to just, you know, get your foot in the door even. And I'm at the point in my life where, you know, I'm 24 going on 25. And let's say all these goals set out before me, they require X amount of time in order to achieve them. Well, that also implies that they're given, there's a limited amount, there's a limited amount of time that you're allowed to waste in order to meet those goals and anything beyond that time starts to cut into the time you should be putting in to those goals and those things that that you want to achieve and and everything everything beyond that starts to push that goal further and further away from you and that's how i feel each and, and how i feel is that where i am in life i've i've just hit that threshold maybe i've already even crossed it and I'm, I'm in the red now and it just feels like time is running out for me in order to achieve these things in order to live the life that i would want to live and you know maybe it is too late for me maybe maybe you know given my age and given the fact that i spent 24 of 24 years of my life doing jack shit, maybe I've already crossed that threshold and, you know, maybe it already is too late for me, but it certainly doesn't feel that way. And it feels like somehow I could find a way out of both needum and wage slavery and maybe actually, you know, not even become some multimillionaire or even earn six figures, but just, you know, earn a modest five figure income doing what you know what i find interesting and that's all i that's all i want really that's what i consider truly ascending when i talk about ascension you know what a corny term but um yeah that's what i want and yeah it just feels like the clock is ticking and you know obviously maybe several years down the line whether or not i've achieved these things let's say i achieve all these things that I've set out to do and you know nothing comes of it and you know I achieve it but then I, I end up still being unhappy about my current situation and maybe my mind finds you know problems and all the things that I've ever wanted that I achieved become the new normal and I'm still unhappy then you know so be it then I guess it would have been all for nothing but at least I found that out for myself and let's say I try and pursue this to my fullest and I end up failing miserably and nothing comes out of it. And I'm still, you know, I'm still in need or I'm forced to be realistic. Then, you know, I'm okay with that too. But I think where I am is that I need to, I need to know for sure whether I, I lay down and rot or I end up be uh, working a dead end job or a job I hate in order to survive. I need to know for sure that, you know, I tried my hardest and that, you know, I put, yeah, I put, I put, I at least put in the time necessary because if I don't do that, then I'll always be left with that, that, that thought at the back of my mind of what if I had actually applied myself? What if, I had actually tried and you know what if I could have made it but then I didn't because I you know I squandered all that time you know on things that were that on things other than this goal things like video games YouTube anime and I guess in that sense discord too because I don't think there's inherently not inherently anything wrong with discord and you know it is a great way to pass the time and it it is a great way to meet people and form relationships but it just isn't in alignment with what i want out of life at least for now things can change in the future but as of the moment 
there are a lot of opportunities that I think are still in front of me and I still have time, you know, to go to quote unquote dream, in my opinion, maybe years down the road, I'll look back at this and, you know, cringe because I was just being delusional. But I definitely believe that there's still a lot of doors open for me at this age. And I feel like if I do apply myself, then maybe I could just, you know, I can just scrape by and manage to make the cut as far as, you know, living the life that I dream of, you know, not even the ideal life, but something approximating that. And that's ultimately why I feel, uh, you know, yeah, Discord is cutting into that. And, you know, I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but every time I'm, I'm on Discord, I, I usually end up spending anywhere from four to eight hours on there. And that's because it just not only is a platform inherently addicting, but I think the act of socializing with people is also inherently addictive because we are social creatures and, you know, obviously I do feel a little bit of guilt doing this because it, in a way it does feel like I'm, you know, I'm sort of, you know, you know, ditching my friends because I do consider a lot of you guys friends and that I'm just, you know, you know, doing my own thing and, you know, not caring about what other people feel because I guess, you know, maybe I'm assuming too much, but, you know, I guess I, I do think that maybe some people might, you know, sort of feel that I'm like ditching them because, you know, I would feel the same way too if someone that I really like, you know, s started talking to me less and less. But, um, you know, I just, I'm at the point in my life where I have to make that, that choice and, um, you know, start to manage my time and, you know, prioritize certain things. And yeah, that's just, currently where I am in life and that doesn't mean that I'm going to spend less time on that doesn't mean I'm going to cut out discord forever I still plan to get on discord but it'll probably just be you know once a week for now maybe twice a week and if I um you know if I uh, you know find a way to fit it into my time but the thing is that there's also so many things that are on my plate too. So many different skills that I want to learn. And obviously you guys know that I'm a improver, like a, you know, like a scroller, like a person who scrolls the internet. I'm a improver. Maybe I'm just pointlessly self-improving for no reason, but you know, it makes me feel happy first of all. And secondly, it could be honestly the only way out of a shitty life, which is what a lot of people that I've talked to on discord, seem to be you know seem to, to lament the fact that there only seems to be two choices in life work a job that you hate and spend the rest of the time the little what little time you have off coping or you know just laying down and rotting and you know being comfy but then still feeling empty because you get bored of the things that you're doing because you know you can only consume a certain amount of stuff or can just consume in general for a certain amount of time before it starts to feel hollow and empty. And I don't get that feeling when I do productive things. It's just that I feel that I'm hopelessly addicted to various things. And it's like, I'm fighting against my, my, my nature. I'm fighting against my nature, which is to consume and, you know, binge on different activities endlessly. And, I, my mind will latch on to anything that it can binge. And it's like, there's a series of different addictions that I have. And and um, if I cut out one thing, my mind will jump to the next thing. And I've already cut out a lot of things, but currently this next thing for me is Discord. And I'm sure there's gonna be other things, but I feel like I've cut out 
a lot of things to the point where I'm starting to become more productive than I ever have been. So yeah, I feel like Discord is just the next thing. And also there's the whole issue of momentum, which is some, you know, I guess some cliched self-improvement idea that when you do something, when you do something one day, it makes it easier to do it the next day. And the more, the more you do something consecutively, then the more likely it is you are to do that until it becomes a habit. And I feel like when I spend eight hours a day on Discord, and you might say, hey, why don't you just spend less time? But that's pretty much impossible. What I'm saying is that it's pretty much impossible for me to do this given the way my personality works, given the way I'm addicted to things. And so yeah, when I spend eight hours a day on something, it just sucks me out of that, you know, it sort of breaks that momentum and then it leaves me with this feeling of comfiness, but at the same time, this sort of feeling of, I don't know, it's this weird, icky feeling that I've spent, I've spent eight hours a day doing something that just makes me feel hollow at the end of the day. Um, and that's not because of anyone specifically. I think it's just, you know, when you do something that's fun for too long, it can be anything, then it ends up giving you that feeling. And that's what I get. And also I kind of went off topic for a bit, but as far as the things on my plate, you know, I have to learn, I'm trying to learn the guitar uh, from someone who I consider a really good mentor. And I don't want to, you know, squander that opportunity because if I, miss too many lessons or I don't show any improvement then you know obviously it kind of pisses off the person that's willing to teach me for free basically and who's you know honestly really good at what at what he does and there's that and there's also the guitar then there's mix there's music production which involves several skills on its own like composing arranging um mixing and obviously instrument playing is part of that which is why i also want to learn the keyboard as well and you know the whole the whole art of uh, recording engineering and knowing which gear sounds better and then there's the fighting which involves a whole set of skills as well and then there's all the other miscellaneous skills that i want to improve at like my diet and um grooming and social skills not online social skills, but real world social skills, which is what I'm lacking. And unfortunately, I don't, I think the discord socializing, online socializing only, only um, translates into my real life in a very minor way, but I don't think it actually, um, you know, helps me all that much when it comes to talking to actual people. So yeah, just all these things that take up, that are gonna take up so much time for me and also I have very, the time for me to do these things is running out. And if I want to, um, you know, end up not only living a normal life, but, you know, a life that, you know, it might be even considered a good life or, you know, if I want to basically find a way out of this, this rut or this catch 22 situation that most people find themselves in, which is work work, uh, you know, wage slave or lay down and rot, then, you know, I'm going to have to, you know, budget my time more wisely. And that's pretty much my rationale for why I'm spending less and less time on discord. And obviously it is selfish on my part for sure. But, um, yeah, I guess at some point, you know, I also have to start, um, you know, I guess, looking out for myself in a way. And um, yeah. And I, I hope that, you know, I hope that you guys understand where I'm coming from, but I completely understand if, you know, you know, people get tired of waiting for me or, you know, tired of me not replying to shit or just not spending time and just move on then i totally understand in that case as well because i would obviously do the same thing as well and but 
um, regardless, um, you know, I just wanted to say that it's not because I'm, you know, you know, before it's because I was depressed or because, you know, I wanted to take a break from, you know, talking to people who would, you know, sometimes irritate me. But, you know, for the most part, everyone's been pretty chill recently. And that's not the case at all right now. I think it's just more that regardless of how people are acting or, you know, whether I'm depressed or not, I would be spending less time because of all the things that I talked about before. So anyways, uh, I think I've said pretty much all I've needed to say. Hopefully this provides some clarification as to why I'm acting, I'm acting the way I am. And, you know, hopefully you guys uh, yeah, stay safe and stuff. And I guess it's probably irrelevant for the lot, a lot of the people watching this channel, but um, this is just more of like a personal message to a lot of the friends that I made on Discord and hope you guys understand. And anyways, yeah, this is Company Neat signing out.